Hello, good evening. How are you? We're about to start. We have two minutes to start. Good evening. Hello, Veronica. Good evening. Hello, Miss. How are you? Everybody is getting into the room, okay? Good evening, teacher. I guess I want to stop this. Okay, so we are ready to start. How are you, my friends? How was your weekend? It was short, nice. Let me see, and I want to check your attendance is here. It says, um, okay, today is Monday from 8, eight to 9 class. Let me see, 8 to 9 class. This one. To my class. Today is Monday. Okay, my friends. Okay, so this is. Let me see. So for this week, we are going to study this a little bit. I'm going to show you here. Because for this week, we are going to study this we're going to study here the simple past tense verbs and we have the two the two um kind of verbs we have regular verbs and irregular verbs okay so we're going to study that today. I think that you have studied this previously. Is it correct? Ya habían visto este tema, simple past? Yes or no? No. 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 Okay. okay, 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 okay. So these are the simple past tense verbs. Here you have in present, for example, this is very common. Thanks, that is the... Um, the for example number four this is dense that is my verb in the infinity way when let me see this for example dense is when the verb is not conjugated and in here is in the simple past this column we're not gonna use it oops this column, we are not going to use it in the class. This column, the past participle, we don't need it. And the past participle here, we don't need it also. But in general, the regular verbs are common now because you add the, the letters E, D, E, D, E, D, E, D, E, D. That is the general idea, okay? Simple past... Regular, regular, because they don't change. Most of them have ED in the written form. And for the irregular verbs, they change. For example, the verb to be, the one that we saw recently. 
to be. Uh, in present, for example, I am Carla. I am a teacher. I am from El Salvador. To be in present. And to be in past. Yesterday, I was at home. My parents were in the park. Okay, this is present and this is past. And it is irregular because they change. Okay, they are kind of different. For example, here, be, was, and were is totally different in the written form. And here, we, for example, come and came are different the way it is written. Oops. And this other, let me see if I have this one. Understand? Okay. Okay. Okay, for example, this one is kiss. That is very common. Kiss in the past. Kissed. This one is different. Uh -huh. For example, get, got, what? the past. Garden. Mm -hmm. Garden is See? a different, different topic. C is saw. Yes, very good. What is it? C, ah, yes, is here. C? C is saw. So, yes, very good. Okay, te, te took. 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 Right? Mm -hmm. Wrote. Wrote. Mm -hmm. So this is irregular verse because they change when you when you change the verb to the past tense, you have to write it in a very different way. Sometimes you have to sh to change most of the letters. But here you write it basically you write it similar, but you have to add yes E D E D E D E D E D and etc. Yes. No, me podría hacer el favor de ponernos esa tabla en el en el chat del grupo. In this one. Sí, me por favor. Gracias. In this one, in this one, let me Let's see. This one. Okay, there you are. There you are. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. And this is good evening, teacher. Estaré como oyente. This is Miguel Antonio. Okay, Miguel Antonio. Okay, don't forget to open your cameras. You have to open your cameras. Yes, that is a requirement, remember. Okay, so now uh, to continue practicing the simple past tense verbs, I'm going to show you this exercise. Just give me a second. It is this one. Simple past, yes. I'm going to show you this video and then we're going to discuss it, okay? So just pay attention. ESL Library. Simple past. What are verb tenses? Verb tenses show the time that an action takes place. The simple past is a verb tense. We use the simple past tense for finished past actions. For example, I watched a movie yesterday. I ate dinner two hours ago. I was busy last week. With regular verbs, we use the verb plus ed to form the simple past. The verb form is the same for all subjects. 
For example, the simple past of the verb watch is watched. I walked my dog yesterday. She played the guitar at my party last month. The students studied last night. With irregular verbs, the verb changes into a different form. We do not use ED. Here are some examples of irregular verbs. Listen and repeat. Do, did. Drink, drank. Eat, ate. Go, went. Have, had. Run, ran. Say, said. Sing, sang. Sleep, slept. Write, wrote. The verb form is the same for all subjects. For example, the simple past form of the verb eat is ate. Okay, let's check it here. Please everybody pay attention. Open your cameras and pay attention, okay? I'm gonna ask you some questions, please pay attention. So this is the simple past. Look at here, listen. For example, I watched a movie yesterday. Okay, so here they are mentioning that this activity was done yesterday. So one, um. Uh, here in this sentence, we can realize is it is in the simple past because they are using the expression yesterday. So this refers to a past tense activity, right? So that means that this verb is in the past. And it is a regular verb because it has ed. ¿Cómo se llaman los verbos que terminan en ed? Regular verbs, yes? Regular verbs, okay? So, another example. I ate dinner two hours ago. Okay, so the time expression that refers to a past tense activity, it is two hours ago in past, two hours ago. So that is why the sentence is, I ate dinner two hours ago. Simple past. I was busy last week. Okay, here again. The time expression that says that this sentence is in past is this, last week. That is a past activity and I was this is my verb regular or irregular mm -hmm. irregular regular right irregular verb very good with regular verbs we use the verb plus ed to form the simple past the verb what do we need that what do we need to form regular verbs ED. ED. Very good. ED. We use the verb plus ED to form the simple past. The verb form is the same for all subjects. For example, the simple past of the verb watch is watched. Okay, so look at here. It doesn't matter 
it's not important if I am using I, do, he, she, we, they, uh, the student, he or she, or the student's plural. The verb in simple past is doesn't change. Here, wash, washed. Wash, washed, he did. So look at here, you write it in the similar way. You don't need to change anything, anything at all. Is it clear this part? Questions in this part, in this section? No, by no. the moment. No question. No. Okay, we're gonna practice in a moment. I walked my dog yesterday. Okay. Here, what's the time expression that expresses past activity? Walker. The time expression that says that this activity was in the past? Yesterday. 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 Very good. And walked, it is regular or irregular verb? Irregular verb. Regular verb. Regular verb, yes. She played the guitar at my party last month. Okay, the time expression that says that this is in the past? Regular verb. Regular. The time expression? Last month. Last, last month. month, very good. Last month says that this is an activity that was performed in the past, last month. Now played, it is regular or irregular? Irregular. Regular. 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 The ones that have ED, it is regular. The students studied last night. Okay, the time expression that says that this is past, Last night. Last night. Last night. Very good. Yeah. And this bird is regular or irregular? Irregular. Regular. Regular, regular. regular because they end in ed. Very good. ¿Cuáles son las regulares entonces? No le escuché porque de entre tarde. This, these are the regular. This one. Pay attention. This one. Into a different form. We okay. Mm -hmm. These are in a different verb form. Do not use ed. Listen, do don't use ed, it says. Here are some examples of irregular verbs. Listen and repeat. Okay, so for example, do is irregular. Do is in present and did is in the past. So repeat, do, did. Do, did. Do, did. Do, did. Very good. Do, did. Did. Drink, drank. Okay, this is irregular. Drink, drank. Very good. Drink, drank. Irregular verb. Eat, ate. Ate. Eat, ate. 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 Irregular ate. verb. That is irregular verb, yes. Go, went. Go, went. Go, went. Have, oh, went. It's regular. Uh, have, had, the previous one, right? Have, had. Had. Have, present. Have, present. Has, past. Uh-huh. Has. For example, in present, I have a house. I have a cat. I have a dog. Have is in the past. Okay. Yesterday I had some dinner with my family. Yes. Yesterday, uh, yesterday I had twenty dollars. Okay. Past tense. Have hmm? had run 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 run, run. 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 very good. Say, said. Mm -hmm. Say, said. Say, say. Very good. Say, said. Say, 
sing, sang. Mm -hmm. Sing, sang, sang. Sleep, slept. Sleep, slept. Very good. Sleep, slept. Write, wrote. Write, wrote. Write, wrote. Write, wrote. Very good. The verb form. Okay, we're going to stop this exercise here, this video. Tomorrow we are going to continue practicing this video. And I'm going to share it with you in the group because you can practice tomorrow or later at home, okay? Then we're going to continue checking this. This is the video, simple past tense. Okay. Now the next activity. Okay, now let me see. Open your cameras. A la one, a la two, a la... Ah, the attendance list. Okay. So it says, Araceli Esmeralda Lopez. Present teacher. Very good, Araceli. Carlos Arturo Olmedo Magaña. Present. Excellent. Consuelo del Rosario. Present teacher. Very good. Cristian Daniel Alvarado. Cristian, no. Eh, Damaris Leticia. No, Damaris. Edith Lorena Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you, Edith. Fatima Yesenia Araujo. Present, Miss. Okay, thank you, Fatima. Fernando de Jesus Morales. Present teacher. Very good. Ibis Arely. No, Ibis. Joaquin Jesus. Present teacher. Very good. Jorge Eric. Jorge. No. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Carla Susana Galeas. Teacher. Good evening. Good evening. You are Juan Antonio. No, I, I am Christian Briseño. I, I am driving. Ah. Christian Alvarado. Yes. Ok, very good. Ya le habíamos puesto ausente, Cristian, pero ya le No, I am driving. And... Ah, ok, ok. Ya se lo corregí. Carla Susana okay. Galeas. Present. Mm, very good. Catherine Rebeca Rosales. Catherine. Teacher. No. Mm -hmm. Leticia dice que está presente ahí en el chat, que el micrófono le está dando problema. Ah, ok, ok, very good. Thank you, thank you. Catherine Rebeca. Catherine. No, Catherine. Eh, Lenin Monterrosa. Present, teacher. Thank you, Lenin. Luz Margel. Present. Thank you, Luz. María de Los Ángeles. Present, teacher. Ok. Mauricio Alberto Jiménez. <coughs> no, Mauricio. Miguel Antonio. Present, miss. Very good. Naomi Nicole. No, Naomi. Oscar Esaú. Oscar. Ok, Roxana Guadalupe. Present. Eh, Sandra Margarita. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Roxana Guadalupe. I'm here. Ah, ok. Sí, es que creo que le había puesto que no, pero sí. Verónica Maricela. Present. Jensi. Hola. Hello, hello. Hello. Ok, very good. Hola. Picha. Hello. Me escuchan. Catherine. Catherine. Estoy, estoy diciendo present, pero creo que no me escuchaba. Catherine, oh. 
Sí, así es. Ah, Mi micrófono creo que está fallando porque ajá, desde ajá. que estoy hablando. Ah, ok. Hoy sí ya le puse, Catherine. Okay, gracias. Thanks to you, Catherine. Okay, so now the next activity, we are going to practice the simple past tense verbs. Let me see. And this exercise, we're going to work it in your group. But I'm going to show you first the way you are going to complete the exercise. It says, uh, the past simple tense, we have uh, regular verbs, the ones that we mentioned previously, and we had the adverse of time or the time expressions that says that it uh, refers to a past event. For example, yesterday, last week, last year, when I was a child, when I was seven years old, two weeks ago, in September in 2019. So these expressions refer to a time to a past time event okay and the regular verbs it have it has past tense a uh, plus adverb plus the base form for example like bait decided bait example he baked the cake yesterday simple past regular verb he did he helped, he helped me yesterday. So regular verb, simple past. So in here it says, complete the sentences in the past tense. For example, you are gonna write the past tense of climb, try, wash, stop, think, pond, and etc. And then the we have some irregular verbs. Okay, it says irregular verbs. In this case, you don't add, no, 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 no. ED, mm -mm. no, they are different. You write it in, the, in a different way. For example, he bought the cake yesterday. He, buy, buy is the verb. Bought is in simple past irregular verb. And again, the time expressions that refer to a past time event. And here you're gonna choose the past tense verb. They, what? Ride, roll, were riding their bicycles carefully. Carl ate, eat, or is eating my burger without permission. So we're gonna complete this together, okay? Using the simple past tense verb, regular and irregulars. And I'm gonna show, I'm gonna share with you the exercise in the WhatsApp because we're gonna complete it in the groups. And I'm gonna organize the group. Let me see, I'm gonna organize the group in this one. So it says that you are, let me see, you are 23. Okay. So get into your group, please, and complete the exercise. Get into the group and complete the exercise. Christian, Miguel, Mauricio, 
Joaquín, Catherine, Fátima. Sí. Ok. No me le salió sala para unirse, Fátima. Sí, me, sí, pero por error me salí, lo siento. ¿En cuál estaba usted? Eh, sala 7, creo. Uh -huh. Le voy a mandar a number 6. Number 6. Ok. Fernando, I'm going to move to number 5. Catherine, Mauricio, Naomi, Cristian. Hola, hola, no pudieron entrar a la sala. No, yo me salí eh, eh, no, accidentalmente. Naomi, Naomi, Naomi. I'm going to send you to the number three, Naomi. Naomi, number three, Mauricio. Así como está, así como lo puso usted. Es correcto, Cristian. Sí. Juan Miguel, are you working in the exercise? Sí, 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 sí. Okay. En eso estamos. Ah, ok. Siempre hablo con el micrófono apagado. Aquí es el día. ¿Cómo? Climber. 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 No sé cómo se pronuncia. Así. Con el instintivo. ¿Y solo sería de agregarle el ED o también se les agrega otra cosa? Creo que solamente es. Como dice pasado. Eh... Aquí es el pasado, aquí en... Los regulares son... Ah, los regulares los que termina ahí. Y, y, y. Acá está. Y los regulares son los que termina ahí. Y, y. Aquí sería de... ¿Cómo? Aquí um, creo que es Washer. Sí. Aquí dice um, los pingüinos. Uh, uh, ahí solo sería de agregarle la, la D. Por ahí ya lleva... La E. Ah, no, la D. Sería. Dibel. Dibel. Así es. Dibel. Sin la E. Ella y él. Aquí es Walsh, ¿no? Sí, en la segunda sería Dibel. Sin la R. Sin la R. ¿Cómo? Dibel. No, sí. No, sí. Sí, así. Uy, sí, es cierto. Gracias. 
Ah, ese sería tonto. Arriba no hay uno que salga igual a, a él. De, de ejemplo. Oh. Eso es cuando se le toca, se le, toca, se le coloca el D o el D. Ah, pues solo sería de agregarle la, la, la E y la B. Ah, el Impact. Sería every, everybody thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, solo se le agrega el E. Ah, ¿sí? Sí. Sí, lo sé. En la 6 se le agrega solo la D. Sí. Solo sería de agregarle la D. ¿Qué? Sí, ahí. Con el. Es work, ¿verdad? Sí, work. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Sis dog Barkel. Barkel. Se le agrega el ED. ¿Qué? Barkel. Sí. Barkel. Y ese la tengo que tomar captura, ¿verdad? Si le quita el, el... No sé si le puede quitar el anuncio para que acabe la salga la foto. ¿Será que no habrán este verbos irregulares ahí, compañeros? ¿Cómo Los regulares. Porque estaba pronunciando lo que son este, los regulares y los irregulares. Pero no sé si todos eran así, regulares. Por ejemplo, en, en la lista que mandó al grupo de verbos, aparecen algunos. Pero... ¿Cuáles aparecen? Yo no estoy viendo. Es... Permítanme, quiero ver. Aparece uno de los que hemos puesto. Ahorita estoy revisando. Bien, los regulares están, sí, está bien así entonces. Esa la tomo factura, ¿verdad? Sí, es la, la imagen que mandó este. Es como un cuadro que mandó al WhatsApp ella. Esa estoy viendo ahorita ya. Ah, de los verbos regulares y irregulares. Ajá. Aquí son de los irregulares. Ajá, ahorita vamos a ver nosotros. Ya. El cuadrito ese, ajá, es para que veamos cómo se hace. Aquí, Aquí me quedo. Y luego le tomo captura a eso. Si quiere, tomarle captura y, y seguimos con el otro ejercicio antes de que se acabe. No le tomamos captura cuando salgan las cosas buenas. O así. Ah, sí, y después le toma las otras dos. Bueno.
Ah, está. Sí, sí, ahorita. ¿Se las escribo en el chat? Eh, sí, si gusta, escríbalas en el chat. Vale, esas son las tres opciones de la primera. Eh, yo creo que es road. En la primera. Road. They roll their okay. bicycles. Okay. Ahora voy con la segunda. Es... La primera. La tres. Voy con la segunda. Ahorita se las muestro. Vale, esa es la segunda. No sé cuáles son, son en pasado, ¿verdad? Quería la segunda creería de que no, porque es it. O sea, no. Yo creo que es la primera que, que, que aparece aquí. La primera. Espera. Y este habíamos puesto. Creo que así, así las habíamos puesto. Sí, así estaba. Así. Ah, ahí sí. Okay, we're gonna continue with the next exercise to practice, to continue practicing the simple past tense. Okay, we are 12.
20, okay. Yes, let me check here. It says, Ibis, um, it is here, Ibis. Ibis? No. Ibis is here, okay. For her? Buenas noches, Maticia. Aquí me acabo de volver a reconectar porque ah, me gusta okay. volverme a conectar. Ah, okay. Ya no es ya bien. Oscar es Saúl, right? Ya no es ya conectar. Ya no es se me ha sido a un programa. Oscar Pensa, ok, very good. Thank you, Oscar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Naomi Nicole is here. Yes. Naomi? Yes. Mauricio Alberto? Jorge Eric? Okay. Jorge Eric? Jorge Eric, present. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, now let's continue with the next exercise. Okay, please turn off your your microphone. Turn, you don't need the microphone. Turn off your microphone. Hello, Naomi. Okay, very good. Yes, let me check this name. Teacher Naomi dice que ahí está. Uh -huh. Naomi, Naomi. Ah, ok. En el chat. Ok, ok, very good. Thank you, miss. Let's see. ¿Qué se me hace este muchacho? <laughs> ok. Okay, so the next activity, we are going to work here. Just let me see, is this one? This one. Okay, I'm going to share with you the next activity. Please remember you have to open your cameras. Open your cameras, everybody. Okay, this is the video. We are going to watch this video. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. 1. Stand in line. 2. Do laundry. 3. Travel to work. 4. Go to meetings. 5. Exercise. 6. Work in the yard. 7. Clean the house. 8. Open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Teacher, your microphone on. Thank you, Mister. 
because I am looking for the conversation. Let me see, is this one? Let me see if it is this one. Ah, yes. This is the conversation. Okay, we're gonna watch, we're gonna listen here the conversation. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E-X-E-R-C-I-S-E. E D. Study. Studied. S T U D I E D. Stay. Stayed. S T A Y E D. Shop. Shopped. S H O P P E D. Let's analyze practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these again. Well, okay, now we're gonna repeat the conversation just a little bit. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Okay, now you. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Okay. Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Well, 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 Continue. well, 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 I had a busy weekend. I have, have a busy weekend. I did today. Okay. Uh -huh. I feel a little bit tired today. Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Well, I have a busy weekend. I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Really? Really? Why? I'm tired today. Tired today. Tired. Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. 
Work and start on exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did the laundry, and chopped. Then, then, then my, my roommate, my roommate, and I cleaned the laundry, did and chopped, 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 and then I visited my parents. And then I visited my parents. This is okay. So, what do you do on Sunday? So, so what do you do, what do, you do, do on you do Sunday? So, what do you do? Okay, so I started for do? the test all day. I started for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't. Study. Have a test today. I, I didn't study. study. I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. I just watched television, television, television all weekend. All weekend. All weekend. All weekend. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now I need two volunteers to practice the conversation. Raise your hand. Two volunteers. Hi, teacher. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Who else? Christian Daniel. Christian Daniel. Okay, go ahead, please. Practice. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. Um, Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, an exercise in the morning, then my roommate and I cleaned it, the laundry and shop. And uh, I visited my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no! Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Okay, okay very good. Okay, one more couple to practice. A volunteer. Maybe for okay, thank you. And Juan Viatorio, Viatorio, go ahead. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, did my roadmate, and in cleaning, the laundry, and shopping, and the visit my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television. Or weekend? Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay. So, no, let me see. Okay, here. So, yeah, just let me check this, this, this exercise. This amount. Okay, Mauricio is not here. Mauricio, Mauricio. No. No, okay. So está now conectado, uh, está conectado Mauricio Alberto. Okay, okay, Mauricio. So now let me see. In the in the um this moment in the conversation. This is the one. Well, in the conversation here you have the Questions in the simple past. Did did you have a good weekend? So this is a question. Simple past tense. Remember that in the present is, do you have a good weekend? Present. And did you have a good weekend? That is past. And here it says, I had a busy, busy weekend. Busy weekend. The pronunciation. 
And I feel a little, a little tired today. And I feel a little tired today. Then the verbs. I exercised, exercised, cleaned, did laundry, and chopped, chopped. Yes. Then I visited, visited my parents. Okay. Here, I studied, studied all Stunning. day, all day. And here, I didn't study. Aha, look at here. It says, I studied, simple past. I didn't study. This is the negative. We didn't, the auxiliary in this case. And the verb doesn't change. I didn't study. I just That's watched, good. watched television, watched, watched yeah. television watched. all weekend. Okay, my friends, we're going to stop it here. Tomorrow, we're going to continue practicing simple past tense verbs. Okay, have a good night. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good evening. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye. Good luck to you.